Hello, everybody. My name is Super Scrawl, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black 2. Black 2, yes, Black 2. Anyway, where we last left off, we uh, took on the gym, Charon, the leader, was the gym leader, what I'm trying to say. And then we got the basic badge, and that's cool, cool. Um, we got our awesome, our awesome Riolu right now. Anyway, I'm gonna go, though, and teach work up. Did I not already teach? I don't know. I'm gonna go teach uh, work up. I, I did check out what the metal box the metal box does. Well, by the way, that dude that gives us medals, he'll be in like every Pokemon Center coming up, and he'll um he'll give you medals, and they're basically just achievements. They don't do anything for you, I don't think. So we go to no, where's the? Oh, there you go. So return, I think I can give to both my Pokemon because they'll like that. So I will teach return in place of their original move, which in this case is Tackle. Because Tackle does 50 damage, but Return has the ability to do up to 102 damage maximum. And I do think my, my Human Torch here likes me, because I gave him an awesome name. I've been treating him well, you know how it is. I'm also going to go ahead for Work Up, and give that to... Okay, he apparently I already taught it. I'm going to go back to Return, and hopefully Leonardo can learn it. And he can, so... We'll give that to him as well. In exchange for faint, I think. Faint's not really worth it. So we taught him that. And that is good as punch. So we will head on back out to Route 20 now, because I think we can go there and and stuff. So basically, we got the Sea Gear last episode, and I just recorded an episode of Pokemon White in which we got the Sea Gear in. So now I can explain that what that does. If you power it on by hitting that button, yep, you get this whole setup. This is obviously a different layout than what it looks like in uh, Black and White 1. I love this layout a lot more, so you can have like an IR connection with your friend that's close with another game cartridge, and you can battle or trade with them. You can go wireless if you record your in the power pad that you got, I think, already. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got the power pad already. You can use the power pad to record your friend's friend code and register them. And then when you go wireless, you can, like, battle them and stuff over long distances. And there's also Wi-Fi for online stuff. I'm gonna go ahead, and you can actually change the stuff. You can click up here. Yeah, you can change the picture that's inside these little boxes here. Very subtle, but very cool. You see it's changing to that, then that. It's really cool. Stars and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and power that off, though, because I don't really like to have that open. No reason or anything. It's just not any use to me. Now, if you look very closely, you can actually see the time always up there. So, we're gonna go ahead and go up to... Damn it. We're gonna go up to, um... Or where? The next city, at least. I'm gonna go for return, see how much that does. Probably enough to one-shot it, hopefully. And it is. Actually, you know that place we went before where we got the Riolu was, was, was Songi Ranch in Songi Town or whatever? I don't think that's actually what it's called. That might be the Japanese name for it. Because there's another- there's Songi Town right here. It's, okay, so there's two names for this. There's Songi and there's Flasesi. I'm not sure which one of those is Japanese, but I'm pretty sure the Songi one is Japanese. That would make this Flasesi Town and Flasesi Ranch in, um, in the English version. So, Bianca stops us, and she's like, Pardon me! I forgot to tell you about the function in your Pokedex, no, known as the Aerialist. This is great! Let me borrow it this a sec. So she'll upgrade your Pokedex. The Aerialist mode of the Pokedex can tell you the location of any Pokemon to use. Open the Pokedex in the lower left of the screen. Touch area J. I think in the, in the or area, whatever it says. In the English version, that'll say Habitat. Habitat, I think. I'm pretty sure it's, it's called the Habitat, uh, whatever. Would you like to hear the instructions again? No. So there are some differences. Um, the grass might shake. If the grass is shaking, the rest is up to you. Embark on your journey around the world and fill up your Pokedex. So go to the many places and meet many Pokemon. See you later. So yeah. So now if you go to the Pokedex, you'll see... Hold on. I actually haven't showed you the Pokedex, have I, yet? What's going on? Yeah, so we have the Pokedex here. Now you can see this little area here. There's regional, then there's area. So you can go to area. I think that'll say habitat in the thing, in the um, in the English version, the American version at least. So now you have Songi Ranch. 
route uh, 20 and route 19. And if, I think if you select that. Okay, that's. I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be showing you. I, I don't understand how this works, unfortunately. Oh, oh yeah, you have to hit A on that, and then it'll show you basically, it'll show you where that area is. Songi Ranch is there. And it'll tell you the Pokemon you can catch in the grass at Songi Ranch. So you got your Lillipop, your um, Azuril, your Riolu, your Mareep, your Patrat, and your Psyduck. And that's how it works. So we can also go and check out Route 20. And it has the Seawaddle, uh, Purloin, and Patrat. And hopefully the quality of the video is now doing better because, like I've said it in, in the, my last episode of, or the one that you'll see later on, episode 4 of Pokemon White. Um, I said the quality, I, I've been noticing that the quality isn't the greatest. It's kind of pixely, so I've tried to change the settings and hopefully it's not going to be pixely. But if it does, I'll try to fix that even, even further because right now, to me, I'm looking at it and it's not nearly as pixely as it was when I, when I uh, was recording it in the earlier episodes. So hopefully it fixed. Now this dude will now this dude will finally let you go, but first you have to battle him to prove your worth. So he's a hiker. Hiker's Sasumu. I'm guessing his name is changed in the American version. He's got a Riolu. That's fantastic, but mine's better, buddy, because you're only level eleven, so you don't even know anything cool. I'm just gonna fast forward this because I feel like when I'm recording Pokemon White, it it the, the like the FPS and the, the percentage or how it's recording is a lot better. Like, when I'm doing Pokemon Black 2, it's a lot slower than that. Uh, I mean, it still looks like it's moving close to 100%. Possibly 100% even. Maybe just moves that slow in general. But I feel like Pokemon Black 1 is, uh, not what, what, white one, there we go, is, uh, doing a lot better. So we burned him to death. That's pretty cruel. Uh, but we're not Nazis, so it's okay. Not really. I, that was kind of a mean joke. Okay. So now he'll let us pass, and he'll, like, go in a corner and cry to himself. And then a toddler, or preschooler, sorry. We haven't actually seen any preschoolers yet in White 1, but you will definitely see them. This is one of the new kind of trainers that were added into Pokemon 5th Gen. And as you can see, they're preschoolers, so clearly uh, the professors of their towns are really letting them um, get Pokemon at quite, a, quite an earlier age. If he's preschooler, that means he's not even 4 or 5 years old yet. So that's when you can get Pokemon now. We're going to go for a return, because clearly Psyduck is a water type. Or tail whip. I want to at least get to the next town in this episode. I'm, I don't think we'll be able. I'll maybe explore the town too. We won't be able to take on the gym because I'm saving that for last after we're done exploring the town. I actually know it's coming up, but I haven't fully explored the town yet, so we'll wait for that. Wants to learn flame charge. That is an excellent move. It is a physical move, but it's got three powers. It's really cool. So I'm gonna get, actually, I don't look, I think instead of that, I'm gonna, it's a physical move, right? Yeah, I, I want to keep both physical and special moves just in case we face someone that has better physical or special defense. So I'm gonna get rid of Tail Whip and, and get, keep both moves in case I need either one. But I do have better uh, attack, right? So I, I, I uh, and special attack, so they'll both be doing more damage anyway. So we got 40 bucks, 40 poker dollars at least. And someone's talking to us, but before we get to that, I have to cut the video right now and do something, and I'll be right back. Well, I'll be back as soon as I can. Alright guys, I am back. You may notice some things are different, like the fact that I'm standing in a different place. There's no text bubble on the screen in Japanese, half Japanese, and stuff. That is because I actually went and I found the American ROM, so it's 100% English now. Congratulations, yay! Clapped myself. I got the 100% American Iran, so now all of it's in English. So basically, what I had to do is I had to play back to this part of the game. So I did. So my Pokemon are I got the same Pokemon back, Human Torch, at uh, this level. Yeah, he probably is a different nature though, yeah. And Leonardo I got back as well, same stuff. I also got the the, the ROM working or the, the emulator working, so that like I realized that it was running a little bit slow before. Now it's not, as you can see. So basically, what happens is now you can see it's not in Japanese anymore, it's in English. So Squirrelly waits. And as you, uh, so I'll correct myself, that Sangi Ranch in Sangi Town was actually, uh, called Flasesi. Like I've already said before, but now I'm sure. Come with me, you two, so now Sharon's gonna show me and Yugi Boy something. That I hasn't introduced yet in my Pokemon White Let's Play. But it'll, it'll come eventually. So basically, he's telling us, he'll give us pe Petra Berries, Petra Berries, whatever. 
and telling them something about whatever bang, the the gym. And he also told us that this grass here is where you get higher level Pokemon, and sometimes two Pokemon will jump out at you at the same time. You get into a double battle. One thing I've noticed about this ROM is that whenever you get into a double battle, there's a bunch of graphical glitches. Um, they don't affect the way you're seeing the battle. They affect the second screen, which is the bottom screen, and for you guys, it is the right screen. So in case I get into any, um, I'll try to get into a battle here, a double battle, and you'll see like a bunch of, um, yeah, here's a double battle. Look, look at the right screen, basically, when I start doing stuff. You'll see a bunch of glitches. You can already see them right now. So I'm going to go for a flame charge on the Vinipede. And I'll go for a Force Palm. And you can easily tell. Look at those graphical glitches. Like, everything's lagging around. It's really weird. Just look at that screen. It looks so messed up. But this just happens only for double battles. Uh, normal battles are all fine. It doesn't really affect the game in any way. So it's all good, really. Anyway, so we're just about to head into Verbank City. That old poison point, great. I'm actually recording this on a different day than yesterday or the first part of this, so uh, there's that. Ah, oh, crap! I should have healed my uh, my human torch before I went into battle. He's poisoned right now, but I don't let him die because if he dies, then he won't like me anymore. Then return will lose power. for a flame charge. Butcha! Fiery dogs! My, that lily pup is sure a hot dog! <laughs> I can't believe I said that. But that is the joke I went with, I guess. So, I'm glad I got the preacher berries, because that means I can now go and... I actually forgot to do something. I have to go back. So, I'm a level 16. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just train here. So I'm level 17, because I'll just evolve at that level. Then I'll be awesome. Er, there's actually something here that you can get. Did I already get it? I did, didn't I? Whoops. So it's an antidote that I just picked up, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go ahead and use that. No, it wasn't an antidote? I'm mistaken. There's another antidote somewhere. There's an antidote here. I'm positive of that, though. Over here. This is it. Just cut through this battle, or not cut, but fast forward through it. This game is actually really fun. I mean, I, I find myself enjoying this even more than I did Pokemon uh, Black and White 1. So there's the antidote. There you go. Am I taking damage as I walk? I don't think so. I don't know. Let's check. Let's check. Okay, I guess we can't check then. Ooh, a sea waddle. We haven't seen this. Oh, we have seen this yet. What am I saying? Sea waddle? I actually might consider using a sea waddle. They're quad weak to fire and flying, as I said. So that'll take it down easy. But maybe I'll use one. These things are giving us 9 experience. That's pretty crap. I'm actually going to go back in the dark grass and train. But let's check if I lost. What am I doing? No, I don't think I take any damage when I walk. So what I'm going to do is just use the antidote. The Petra Berries or Peach Berries, whatever, they will become very useful in the next gym because, uh, well, you'll see in a while. If you guys know what pe pe Peach Berry does, chat, well, yeah. If you guys know what Peach Peach Berries do, then you will understand. Now I can probably show you stuff like the uh, upgraded Pokedex and the uh, and the Metal Box because now I understand what it's saying and I understand completely what, I, and you'll understand now what I was explaining before. So obviously you can tell this is a level 11, so clearly these are high level Pokemon. I might actually go ahead and catch a Purloin, but I probably won't do it yet. I, would, I, I don't know, actually, no. should I catch one? I don't think I want to use one. I already know what my next team member is going to be, I think. So, that's good. I think I might just cut the rest of the training out, because it's kind of boring. But first, I'll, I'll go into uh, the Metal Box, and I'll explain what these things are. So basically, he'll give us things called Hint Metals, which are these silver things. 
and it's gonna give us real medals, which are these colored things. The colored things are actual achievements that we've done, like all it says a medal given to the a medal rally participants at the beginning. Okay, that's good. So these hit medals basically tell you what you need to do to get the medal. There's no there's no path in front of you, there will be a path behind you. Save your game frequently. When your Pokemon get weak, go to the Pokemon Center often to restore their health and stuff like that. Some of them I can't do, obviously like this one here is use your seat gear and pass a lot by a lot of people. On an emulator I can't pass people. Um have courage and fight in battles, all that. So you basically, it's these hints of how you uh, get the medals. And then the Pokedex thing, like I said before, instead of uh, it saying whatever it said before, it says Habitat here, as you can see. And then you just uh, like say Flossessi Ranch, which is what it's really called instead of Sangi Ranch or San Sangi. And basically, one thing we didn't actually run into at Flossessi Ranch was the pit, the P Dove, which is this thing, the bird. You can go to the info. We didn't actually go, we didn't actually find that even though it's uh, I think it's the most common or second most common. But anyway, yeah. So you have the well, go back. Whatever. Yeah. So you, you guys see how it works now. So I'm gonna cut right now and come back when uh, pig or what, what's his name? It's the Human Torch is level 17. You guys, I just came back because I wanted to trade other Pokemon that were in the grass, like Sunkern here. Doesn't give very great experience. Actually, he kind of does. I don't know. I remember getting like a lot of experience off of him one time. But uh, oh, never mind. Okay, see you guys in a second. Still, because I need to be level 17. All right, guys. I think this is it. He's about to. No, didn't level up. <laughs> oh well. One more battle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whatever the music is doing. I made weird noises. Blah blah blah. But I don't. Bide, 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 bide. I guess we'll be saying goodbye to Patrat. Or Patrat. Uh, no, sorry, that's a bad joke. Okay, here you go. Level 17. He's gonna learn a move. Not yet. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun. This evolution is so cool. Like, like, like they like turn to paper or something, and they separate, and then they come back together as something different. Oh my god, he's looking cool, and that is cool looking. It's a pig knight. Congratulations, you're in touch to a pig knight. And then we're gonna learn a move here called arm thrust, which is a fighting move because now pig knight is a fire fighting type. Get rid of defense curl. So now I have two fighting types. Not a smart idea to have the same types, but I mean they don't have the same weaknesses other than flying and psychic. And it's the two things that are actually whatever. So now we're gonna go up here and fight this lady. She's a nurser, if I'm not mistaken, or a nurser, nurse, nursery. I don't know. What's what? What are they? What are they called? They're called nursery. Nur oh, nursery aids. Okay, got that wrong. She's got a Dunsparce level 11. That's weird. But now we can go for an arm thrust on it and destroy it. One more, please. Nope. Fine. Thanks for nothing. You can spite me all you want. You're still dead. In next turn, I mean. Now, there you go. Bam! Smack you in the face. Smack you in the face. <laughs> Audio might be a little bit different than uh, the last two episodes or so. Or no, actually from the beginning half of this episode because I was using the microphone before. Now I'm using the headset because it's really hard to use the microphone because I have no stand for it. So it's like the worst thing to like hold it and play. It, it, there's a dire hit and useless to me. Anyway, what level is my... Yeah, my Leo needs to be a little higher. I'm gonna not train though. Oh, actually no, there's a double battle coming up. Which means graphical glitches. However, we do get some... Some action from both our parties. Twins Leah and Lily. They got two Sunkerns. Fantastic. Sunkerns pretty bad Pokemon, I have to admit. Falls into a Sunflora, if you guys didn't know. I'm gonna go for a Force Palm on Sunkern. And a Flame Charge on Sunkern. Flame in charging. I didn't. I don't think I mentioned this, but Force Palm I think has a chance of paralyzing, so that's good too. That was like crap experience. It's great. When I want my mommy or whatever you said, I don't know. On that note, we enter here through this area. 
and we got stopped. Hello, oh you! You're with two Pokemon, but if you had more Pokemon, your journey would be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these. So why don't you catch more Pokemon? She just gives us like free Great Balls for no reason. How many do we get? It said Great Balls. I'm assuming more than one. I love how we just get free stuff. If that could happen in real life, we're just like, hey, you need to do this. So here's some more stuff. I don't know how many guys. I think I had two. I think I already had one, I mean. So I think I got two from her then. That's, uh, that'd be awesome, though, if someone just gave me free stuff all the time. Just, hey, you need to write a, you need to write a test? Have a bag of pencils. I don't know. Something like that. So mom's just like, oh, you're in Verbank? That's nice. It's very nice in Verbank. Blah. And we see these people here. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar uh, Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. And then Roxy says, Get real, you're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're going to cause lots of people trouble. Oh dear, daughter. You split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader. Oh, she's a gym leader. Okay, Roxy's a gym leader. And with your band, right? I can do that too. I like what she says here. <laughs> ah! You dim-witted, dense, dumb, daft, dippy, dorky, doltish doofus! Doing double duty isn't the problem! You're causing problems for people! Keeping people from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable! I've had it! I'm going to the gym! Don't you normally have to go there anyway if you're the gym leader? And saying you're going to the gym doesn't make you special. Anyway, so we're gonna heal up quickly. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And talk to this dude now. Let's see what he has for us. He's doing terrific. Here's a new medal. So what medal is this? Evolution Hopeful Medal. I'm just gonna, I like to collect more medals, so I'll give you a hint medal. So you, we get five hint medals, which are those silver things. And basically, the more hint medals you get, then. Um. Then these things open up. You see these pages all here? They open up with more. All these things need to be filled with hint medals. And then real medals afterwards. If you, you want to unlock achievements, that's how you do it. So, like I've already explained. Another thing. We can go explore this city now, but I feel like this episode is going to be a little bit long because I have because I have double recording. That, po that, I'm pretty sure that Pokeball you can't get yet. So it's pretty much troll Pokeball in this in, right now because you can't get that there. But what we're going to do is just explore the city for a couple minutes. As you can see, there's some in here. Roxy's band. It's getting harder to buy tickets to their shows lately. Maybe they'll go on a world tour soon. Okay, so clearly Roxy is a musician with a band. And you have this lady down here. I don't really care about you. Actually, are you important? I can't tell. So basically, if you actually know, there's some stuff you can get here. If you go into this house right beside the Poké Center, and there's an Arduino in here, you'll get that. And it's a Poké Toy, which basically equipped... It's kind of like the Smoke Ball. If you equipped it to the... Pokemon in the front who's in the battle and they try to escape, they will always escape. And you go down here. In the garbage can here is an antidote, if I'm not mistaken. And then if you go inside the house and talk to this person. No. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's this person, I'm pretty sure. Stop it. No, then it's this one. There you go, last one. She'll give you a free burn heal. More free stuff from everybody. It's just like, I, I don't know why I have this. I don't have Pokemon. You take it. And there's other, there's so much stuff that you can get here. And I love the fact that because they have a 3D rendition of the game. Oh, and this is the Pokemon Center right here with the flashing lights. It's really small and it's really hard to miss, but it, that's it right there. You can tell by the symbol on the top. Rocky's poison is intense. Okay, so she's clearly a Pokemon gym trainer. It stings, stings, and stings. But what now I did, I caught a Magnemite in the complex and I was just fine. Here, I'll give you these. So go catch a Magnemite or something. So you get free Pokeballs. More free stuff. And, um... Yeah, so clearly there's an area that's south of here, which is called the Verbank Complex, right? Verbank Complex, and you can catch as you as you heard, he said Magnemites and cool other stuff. I will tell you the Pokemon specifically that you can get there later, but for right now, there's other stuff we need to do. Like if you come down here, why am I hearing that weird noise? So you're off my Pokemon? No. Okay, so if you go, actually, you, you guys, you don't see any space to go back here, but there's a little hole in between the fence, 
the fences and you go back there and you run all the way down and then you go up like this oh that's right there's that spot on the water there and you go right here and then you stand right here and hit a you get a free pearl another free i keep saying free but it's just there so that's one uh, hidden item and that's why i love the mechanics of this game where it's 3d so they can really do weird puzzles to hide stuff like you wouldn't be able to see that if this was i mean they couldn't hide that if this was like third gen on the game boy which is cool this dude down here is kind of important he just tells you something important first turn the secret power on the tap wireless finally tap extra link if you if you have some time tr give it a try it's amazing that i'll show you in the next episode and they oh connected in the center of the sea gear screen to check the tag log well we might as well go and turn that sea gear on anyway because people just want us to but we'll cover what what happens next and it's really actually really cool i didn't actually know they added this to the game it's a really cool addition on so i will show you guys that in the next episode and why is this not turning on there it is so oh that was a weird freeze okay in the next episode guys i'll show you uh there are other stuff that you can get here there's some other hidden items and I'll show you the C gear thing they're talking about with the extra link. It's really cool. Hope you guys can join us next time. I know, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And comments because it's the most important thing. I want to hear you guys' feedback on it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want me to fix things? Do you want me to like make this screen so that's not stretched inside by side? Or what do you want me to do with this series? And stuff like that. Hope again, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.